artificial intelligence. Computers that are usually smarter than I am, but when it comes to creativity, we aren't really there yet. When it comes to AI, most people think of Alexa, self-driving cars, or the other players in Mario Kart, because who the heck has 12 friends? Not me. The idea that an AI can create a video game seems far off, but really it's already here. AI is already being represented in video games. It's the NPCs that you're shooting at, or it's even the procedural content generation that helps No Man's Sky boast the infinite number of worlds you can explore. And sometimes, like in Left 4 Dead, there's even an AI that can help recognize how you and your team are doing as a whole, determining the number of zombies that will attack the player and the location of boss-infected encounters based on the information gathered. Now you're thinking, robots are stupid. I've seen NPCs walking into a wall. And you're right, they require human interaction and in some cases training in order to do the thing you want it to. Seems reasonable that they're not mind readers, which I'm glad they're not. Because your phone is already listening to you. But this person is not real. A machine made that image. Now, there are three types of brain power. Narrow, general, and super. But among these, there are four functionalities of AI. Reactive AI. This is the enemy stealing the star in Mario Party, Netflix recommended, and Deep Blue, the robot chess player. Limited memory AI. This is self-driving cars. Theory of mind AI. This is Kim Set, an absolute nightmare fuel of a robot, and Sophia, also a nightmare. Also a nightmare. And self-aware AI, which doesn't exist yet. Yay. There is one thing I want to point out between reactive and limited memory AI, because the two can get confused, which is reactive, deep blue, can whoop your ass at chess, but it's not going to remember the game it played against you five seconds ago. Now what gets really interesting is the way that we use the artificial intelligence. GANs, or Generative Adversarial Networks, is a system that pits two AI against each other to improve the quality of their results. I won't go too far into it, but the basic concept of GANs are machine learning models. One of them creates fake data that could be mistaken for real data, and the other is fed both the real and fake data and must find the data sets that have been artificially created. Like what? <laughs> These robots are already playing games, I swear. And like at thispersondoesnotexist.com, a GAN is creating very photorealistic pictures of people, horses, and cats. AI Dungeon, which is a text adventure game that uses AI to be the dungeon master of the player's game, essentially creating a playable world for anyone. If you're interested in storytelling and also nonsense, it's really fun. <laughs> it works like all other deep learning, with an immensely large data set and a lot of training. The team behind this is also in the process of a new artificial intelligence powered game platform called Voyage. The end vision of Voyage is that anyone can come and create the worlds of their dreams in an interactive experience with AI. They will describe the world they've always dreamed of creating and exploring, and the AI will work with them to create an immersive 3D world, filling out with deep and immersive nations, cities, characters, and more while weaving them all together into a compelling world that they can share with their friends. And you can say it's basing it off of already existing content. How is that new? And I'm gonna say, well, that's every Pokemon since Pokemon Red and Blue. So in the long run, it is possible. It'll be a lot of training, but there is the ability for it to make sounds and visuals and well, enough story that makes sense to a robot, but the method of a machine creating a game would take years and most likely would still be incomprehensible. 
because occasionally you get gems that look like this. <laughs> That's why I love it so much. That's why I love it. I I would I would play the shit out of a game that a machine made. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I love it.